passing game. They will no doubt rely on one of the most electrifying players in college football. He wears the number one at Notre Dame. He is wide receiver Derek Mays. There you see him getting ready for today's game against Purdue. He has established himself as the go-to guy for the Irish. This week, we talk with Derek about his childhood, how it strengthened his life, and about those incredible hands. I've been uh, catching the ball and, and running with the football since I was about mm, seven years old. And I knew then that um, I wanted to have football be a part of my life. As a boy growing up in Indianapolis, Derek spent a lot of time in his front yard playing football. But he was not playing with his friends. He was running patterns with his dad. The passes got deeper and deeper, and I guess he noticed that I could, I could catch them as far as he wanted to throw it. He thought he would be a running back, but when he began playing organized football in junior high, his coach broke the news to him. I'll never forget this. He goes, Derek, I'm sorry to tell you, he goes, but if you keep catching the ball like this, I'm going to have to make you a receiver. Um, once I got in high school, that's where the transition was made. Uh, I was made into a total receiver by the ninth grade. In his senior year at North Central High School, he caught 45 passes. He was named All-State and then decided to play his college football at Notre Dame. As a freshman, his first three catches went for touchdowns. That set the stage for what would become his trademark, making the unbelievable catch, the big catch, like the one against Boston College. I remember the Boston College catch. I used to practice that on my mother's bed. And then there is the Michigan catch. He had just caught a pass for the go-ahead touchdown, but it was called back due to penalty. In the huddle, they called his number again. This is what goes through his mind when he knows the ball is coming to him. I just close my eyes and I visualize um, what, it, what it would look like, what the route would look like, what the catch looks like. Um, the second thing I do is I put myself in a familiar place and the most comfortable place was my front yard. And instead of seeing the ball come from the quarterback, I see the ball coming from my dad. Coach tells me um, all the time, he goes, you know, never let a doubt enter, enter your mind. And I try my best to apply that when the ball's in the air, that I can get it some way, somehow, I can get it. I, I try not to confuse confidence with arrogance, but I'm, I'm well aware of what I can do when the ball's in the air. Mike. All across the country, kids are playing football in their front yards. That is how it started for Derek Mays, making the catch then and making the catch now. 